say is probably a better idea for you. I, I've made some suggestion, feedback, comment cards. You could take them and fill that out and leave them for us. Um, I, what I'll do with that is I'll take that and I'll convert it into a Q&A. Um, ultimately, at the end, we're going to record tonight's session. So this and the slide deck um, and, a, and a letter explaining all of this, plus any of the other materials will be added to the district website under the technology department. We'll create a one-to-one -one device page and all of this will be there for parents and everyone to see from now until the beginning of the year anyway. Okay. Um, so that being said, I just wanted to kind of go over the agenda for tonight and, and what we're going to be discussing. So just a quick overview of why we're here, um, our position and philosophy around the device program and our ability to support our students, um, how we will go through the summer collection process. Um, we are aware of the fact that there are summer programs running, around, running this, this summer and how we're going to make sure we're accommodating those programs and our students during summer programming. Um, and then, of course, the redistribution of our one-to-one -one devices in for the 23-24 school year, um, as well as how we plan on moving forward in a more sustainable fashion and supporting our devices district-wide. Um, and again, like I mentioned, those Q&A cards are there for you. Please take them and use them. Um, then you'll have an opportunity to get that feedback to us, which is important, and we will make sure that we put all of that in the Q&A. And again, this this PowerPoint presentation will be available on the website over the next couple of days, um, certainly by Monday, um, if not sooner. Um, so again, just introduction, thank you, and welcome. Um, appreciate you taking time out of your busy schedules. I know this time of year there's so many things going on, right? Um, so just to fit another thing in, I really appreciate you making time to be here tonight. Um, and again, I, I would be, re be remiss if I didn't acknowledge just how important your partnership is in our success in supporting our students. So again, thank you. Um, anytime we talk as a district, as a technology department, as a team, we always start with what is our why? Why do we do what we do on a daily basis? Um, and I like to center our conversations around that because it's important that we acknowledge that the students are at the center of everything we do. Um, but specifically for us in the technology department, our, our mission is, is dedicated to leveraging technology in an equitable and accessible manner that allows us to close gaps and create opportunities for students. Um, our mission is to cultivate critical thinking, creativity, communication, collaboration, self-expression, and digital, digital literacy, um, especially in this, in this ever-expanding digital world, and, and most importantly, make them responsible global citizens. Um, as part of our philosophy, not just in the technology department, but this really expands throughout the district, is as part of our mission, we deeply value the principles of equity and access of educational resources. So to that, our commitment is to providing each student with a one-to-one -one device, which reflects our understanding of the vital role that technology plays in their learning and in the process of their success and growth. Um, so why are we doing this? Um, there have been a lot of questions around why are we all of a sudden collecting all the devices? We really haven't done this before, why now? Um, so there are a lot of things in play here. We, we have um, a lot of devices out K-12. We have roughly 1,600 students, so roughly 1,600 devices. Um, the students have had them for several years now, and it's really time for us to kind of pull them all back and, and really do some of these important things, doing the maintenance, making sure that they're all up to date, that they all have the security patches and the software updates that they need, make sure that they're clean of any kind of viruses or anything else or anything that, you know, just extra stuff that, that just piles up on the machines. It gives us a chance to clean them off and, and kind of sanitize them. Anything that isn't up to par with them, it gives us a chance to find that and correct those. And ultimately, we can refurbish them and get them ready and re retune so when we give them back, they're in top, um, top state for when they need to engage in their schoolwork in the fall. Thank you for coming. Um, that being said, again, over the last several years, the district and our students especially, we've really been challenged in a very unique way, especially because of the pandemic, right? The district had to really mobilize very quickly to support our students to be in a remote learning environment, and as such, we pushed out a lot of devices very quickly. And now that we're back out of the pandemic and we've we found a sense of normalcy again, it really supports the decision around why this is the time to do this. Bring them back and, and allow us to really do all the things to get them ready for the fall for them again. 
um, really kind of organize the devices and align them in a way where we can be strategic about making sure that they're placed developmentally and appropriately for, for the students, and also that we can put them in kind of a replacement rotational cycle, so we're replacing them on a regular basis and properly, right? Um, so this will allow it to do it. Doing this in the summer, in, in, in our opinion, in our position in this, is this is really a proactive way to make sure that our students are not being interrupted during the school year and when they really need the most to engage in their learning. So this is really an opportunity for them um, to really kind of unplug and take a minute to get away from some of that screen time, right? We, we talk about that a lot for students. And I think we always struggle with how do we make sure that they have access to what they need for learning, but how do they still engage with the rest of the world around them? So I think, again, this is just another great opportunity for us to help support the rest of the development for our students. Um, I did want to also point out that in a, besides being on a device this summer, there are several opportunities going on in and around the district for our students to take advantage of. The district is supplying books to all of our students to be taking home for the summer so they can do reading activities activities and game, engage in learning opportunities and activities through reading books. Um, certainly participating in play with friends and with family members, having time together, socializing, it, it all supports the social well-being and whole child, which is important, not just the technical aspects of using devices, right? Um, so behind all of these reasons, there, there are plenty of other opportunities for them to gain, engage in alternate learning opportunities. Um, so I, I know there are questions and there have been concerns about, all right, well, you're running summer programs. What are we going to do for supporting our students who are involved in the, in the district's summer programs? So we've already been meeting for well over a month with our summer school principals and administrators and as a cabinet just to discuss how we're going to mobilize for this. So even though we're collecting all the devices back, we're already getting ready with our first round of replacements for 23-24. So we have a fleet of devices that are ready to be out on site in our summer programs, in our buildings. So when the students are participating in any of the, the Greenberg um, sponsored summer programs in our buildings, there will be devices on site for them to use while they're in those programs. Um, we're very cognizant of the importance of that and we will absolutely make sure that they have them there. We also recognize that there are other activities and events and need for technology over the summer where they need to engage in other learning activities, right? Above and beyond the things that are going on in school. So what we've done, and again, we'll publicize this more on the district website, is if there are situations where a parent feels they need technology home in the house for the summer, we will provide a request form. And that will allow you to put in a request, let us know why you need it, and it'll give us the opportunity to kind of review and evaluate that. And if we feel that we can support that, we absolutely will. Again, remember that the kind of purpose and goal of what we're doing here is to bring everything in so we can clean it all up and really reset and reboot our full one-to-one -one device program so we can sustainably support it for all of our students K-12. Um, so just a little bit about the collection. So we've started collection already. It looks a little different depending on the level. So in the primary levels, in the K-6 buildings, we're going to be collecting the devices in school, in their classroom. They'll be collected, we'll put them into carts, and they'll be kept in the school building, and then we'll deal with them in the buildings over the summer and do all of our work there. So over the rest of this week, and certainly all through next week, um, make sure if your students are in K-6 have any devices at home, that they bring them in. Um, to their classroom teacher, we'll take them, we'll log them in, um, and then we'll do what we need to do with them. Um, certainly make sure that they have the charger. Even if it doesn't work, it's okay. Bring back all the pieces that you have for the Chromebook, Any, <laughs> and I don't mean to say pieces, like there's multiple pieces, but the Chromebook and the charger, um, and, and bring them all back regardless so we have them and we can go through everything we have and make sure that it's all refurbished and ready to go for, for the fall. In the upper grades, it's going to be a little bit different. Um, since they're older, they're a lot more responsible. They, they primarily carry their devices around with them. Um, we've set up in the innovation lab here, our tech department, on a daily basis from now through the end of next week. Um, somebody will be sitting out in front of the technology office ready to collect the devices. Even if, they, you know, if they're not sure, they don't have all, the, all of the Chromebook and the charger, just come down with what you have. Please try to bring everything. If you have to do it over a couple days, that's fine too. 
We get the chargers, sometimes they're easy to put in weird places, right? So no worries, find it, bring it in um, when you can. But between now and next Friday, somebody will be here to help any of the students that come down from the high school and, and log anything in. Um, I just want to make a note on this too, because I know that throughout the year there have been, there have been certain times where students have turned in devices because either they needed to be repaired or they had gotten another device or whatever the case may be. Um, I assure you that any of those transactions that have happened throughout this year, we've documented them and, them and logged them in our asset management system. So if they don't currently have a device, we're not going to be expecting them to show up with a device. We know they already turned it in for one reason or another. Um, and we're not going to be looking for it. Um, seniors primarily though. So again, um, for the seniors, one extra little piece to this. Um, since they're leaving, we need to ensure that they, they provide their devices before they walk and <coughs> complete their graduation, right? So um, we will hold cap and gowns for the seniors if they haven't turned in a device. If there's an extenuating <coughs> circumstance, we deal with that all the time. Still have the ability to see our technology office. The technicians here are prepared to support them in whatever scenario they show up with. So please, regardless, have them come down and see us, and we will help them through whatever it is that we need to help them through so they can get to the finish line and they have a beautiful and wonderful graduation. Um, okay, so that kind of handles how we're going to pull everything in. The summer we'll spend going through everything, getting it ready for the fall, and then passing it out again in the fall. So very similar, we'll have a couple different models. For the earlier grades in K-6, um, we're going to have them distributed out in the buildings already. So during those first weeks of school, when they come back, the devices will already be carts in the classrooms, they'll be available in the classroom, and then how we'll roll those out and assign them to students will be um, dependent on the teacher and the need for them to have them for evening activities or whatever needs to happen um, on their day-to-day, -day. but that will all get managed through the classroom. So each classroom will all have a dedicated cart, each student in the class will have a Chromebook assigned to them out of that cart, um, and it will always be available for them when they're in class and in school, um, and if needs be, to take home. Uh, the high school will be different. They will have to come and pick theirs up here, again, at the Innovation Lab. Everything we're doing here it will all happen in the, in the Innovation Lab space. We'll have stations set up for them to come. It'll be during the two, last two weeks of August to do that. That's not to say that if you're away or if you're not able to make it, when school starts, then come down and we'll make sure that we have your device ready to go. We'll sign it to you and you'll be on your way. Um, so it won't only be for those last two weeks, but will be certainly for those two weeks and then any time thereafter if, um, if that time doesn't always work out. So it'll be primarily during the day, um, during the business hours, 8.30 to 3.30, uh, Monday through Friday. Um, lastly, um, some of the work we did um, with the administration and the Board of Education was to update our responsible use agreement. And as part of this reboot and reset, we're going to be having all the parents re-sign it at the K-6 level, and then the students, as they come and pick up their devices here in 712, they will have an opportunity to um, also sign that before they get their new device. The, the responsible use agreement will be on our district website long before anybody's expected to sign anything, so you'll have a chance to review it. Um, there'll be more than plenty of opportunities to ask questions if you have any regarding the responsible use agreement. Um, we tried to be very diligent about um, updating this and revising this to make sure that we're being responsible and accountable for our assets um, while being able to support the students and, and their needs and in their daily lives. Um, so lastly, some new processes that are going to be in place for next year that were not in place previously to help add some extra safeguarding of devices. As we're purchasing new devices, all newly purchased devices are going to have hardened case covers to help protect them. That should much better protect them when the accidental drop or the bang or the knock. Um, and we'll make sure that those are there um, so they will come with every device. Uh, we're also going, the district's also going to purchase and we're participating and partnering with multi-year warranty programs and an insurance policy to help cover our assets and help assist us with repairs and um, replacements. Again, that's not to say though that um, there'll be an unlimited supply of replacements uh, for students. And that, again, that's something you're going to see that's covered in the responsible use agreement. 
um, how we manage that portion of it. But again, it is our intention and our commitment to provide a one-to-one -one device and make it available for every student to the degree that we're able to do that responsibly. Um, and lastly, again, just to reiterate, the, the parents and the students will have to re-sign a responsible use form so we know we have everybody's with the update, there'll be plenty of opportunity to see it on the website. So if there are any questions before you're expected to sign anything, there'll certainly be times where you can ask those questions. Um, bless you. Um, that being said, I, I have a little bit of a sound bite. So throughout the year, we send out a lot of important information. Um, a lot of that comes out in email. A lot we do put on the website, but we, we depend on having up-to-date contact information on everybody, phone numbers, cell, and email addresses to make sure that we're able to successfully reach you if we have to communicate, not only in emergencies, but with important information. Um, so, um, and again, this will be up on the district website. It already is now actually under the parents section of our district website. There is an area where you can find directions for updating contact information, but it's also here we've made it easier for you to reach. Um, you can just use the QR code, or there are links here, and again, this presentation will be on the district website in the next day or so. Um, but please take a minute, go in and update your contact information. You can do it now, you can do it at any time. And the more up-to-date it is, and the more current it is, it's just, it's better for us, and it, it allows us to be more successful in, in connecting with you and communicating all the important information we may need to throughout the year. Um, with that said, um, again, I did provide you an opportunity to submit any questions or comments that you have but we are a little ahead of schedule so i will take a few questions if you would like to ask Ms. Hi. Mayors. i'm here as a parent so i have a parent question um how do you want uh, parents and students to handle any student personalization some students have put stickers, sometimes the younger students have a lot of stickers, older students may have other decals on their Chromebook that they may have had now for maybe three years. Do you want parents yeah. to remove that before returning it? They, no, they don't need to it's remove it. And, and I get that, that the students express sure themselves mm -hmm. in, in a way that they like to customize. I think moving forward, as we start, especially as we start to move in to having the cases, That'll help support their ability to express themselves because in our new plan for rolling these out will be a multi-year rotational cycle. So as they come in, they'll get a device, they'll keep it for a few years, but with that case, that'll also go with them, that'll give them that opportunity. So no, no need to clean anything off, really just as is is fine. Please, if they're K-6, bring it into the school, 712, come down to us in technology, and, and we'll take care of it over the summer. Good question, thank you. Yes, sir. Um, walked a couple, I saw that a couple high schools in the uh, area have this buyout program for people who maybe if needed an extra computer them. Has that been anything? Are you just tossing away the old ones? Or what can, are they going to sit in, you know? Uh, but I, I saw a couple high schools have it. Yeah, no, I appreciate that feedback, and that's a really good point that you bring up, because certainly when the devices get to end of life, in terms of their contractual warranties, they're certainly not at the end of use. Um, that's, that's some really good feedback. I think that's something that I'd like to take back to the cabinet and discuss. Um, um, it, it may have come up informally as an idea, but, but I think that's, that's a good point, and we can kind of bring that back to the table and, and look at that more formally on how we might perhaps consider looking at that as an option. Yes. So, particularly with the younger kids, um, I'm sure I'm not the only one who's heard about, you know, the distraction and getting on YouTube and going on the internet. And so, as part of this sort of reboot, are there any um, sort of um, solutions to that that are being built into kind of control for that? So are you talking about filtering specifically yeah. and just kind of a, a level protection? For, so of course, so the district engages in multiple levels of protection with the devices for our students, both when they're here and at home. So anytime that they're logged into our devices with their Greenberg um, domain name, they're, they're at greenberg.org, um, they're under our control. So, so we have, in the district, we use software packages 
where we can filter and there's alerting and, and ability to, for us to respond when we're seeing certain activities, um, but also at the network levels um, and internet levels, we have filtering happening. So there are, we, we get alerts on a regular basis and I get regular reports of, of kind of what traffic may look a certain way or not a certain way and it allows us to constantly kind of evaluate that and tool the filters to fit, make sure that the things that need to go through can go through, but the things that shouldn't be going through, go through. It's not to say that it doesn't happen from time to time because our kids are really bright and they're really resourceful and sometimes they find things before we know about them, but we're very quick to respond to them because our systems are set up that way that we know about it before they're really too deep into it, right? Um, so yeah, that's an ever-evolving process. Um, we're, they're always in place and they're adaptive and they're interactive. So with that, I, I am going to wrap this session up. We're early, so I will happily hang around. You're welcome to fill out any of the cards. And we are going to probably start getting ready, but I, I'll find a corner that I can kind of set up in, and you're more than welcome to come, come speak with me one-on-one -on -one if you like. So again, thank you for your time. We'll be posting all of this information to the district website over the coming next few days. So by Monday, Tuesday, the latest, we will have it all up on the district website um, under the technology department. You're very welcome. Have a good evening.